So it has been a minute since I have dove in to the TGIF series. I did the filming locations for Full House and Roseanne. And lately, I cannot get enough of the old Disney episodes from TGIF. You remember those, right? When Full House would come here, Roseanne, Family Matters, Boy Meets World episode. Always wanted to do it, and today we are covering it. I'm wearing a, a 90s themed shirt here, Halloween Town, and the weather's really nice. So let's travel back to the year 1996 today and visit the filming locations from the Boy Meets World episode, The Happiest Show on Earth. So in this episode, Corey and Topanga have a little, uh, a little riff in their, in their relationship and Corey decides he really wants to get Topanga back. Well, Topanga wins a trip to Walt Disney World and there's a certain character named Ronnie who Corey, let's just say, is very jealous of. And Ronnie's uh, kind of like a younger John Stamos, especially back in the 90s. This kid was on Camp Nowhere and a few other Nickelodeon things. He was always around and uh, definitely a teen heartthrob. Corey even has a dream about Ronnie and Topanga riding the original location for Dumbo here at the Magic Kingdom. And throughout the entire episode, Corey is basically chasing Topanga, trying to find her while he and Sean hitched a ride to Walt Disney World from Philly. This episode's pretty weird. I will not lie to you. A lot of it doesn't make sense with the way they can go back and forth to each park. And I say that every time I film these kind of things. They always make Walt Disney World seem like it's all in one place. They never showed how long it actually takes to travel to each destination. They also didn't show a whole heck of a lot of the parks. This was 1996. They had Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney MGM Studios at the time. Animal Kingdom had not been opened yet, but they did not film a single thing, a single scene at the Disney MGM Studios, which is bizarre to me. They would normally promote all the parks here. This is also during a time when you would see Ben Savage and Ryder Strong on a lot of the Disney specials, especially the Christmas parades and any kind of Disney special, you would usually see those two in certain areas. I just, I don't know why they didn't film a whole lot more of the resort. They didn't show a monorail. They didn't show any of the water parks. They didn't show downtown Disney. They didn't show anything. The Full House episode and Roseanne episode showed a pretty good chunk, but this one for the TGIF stuff, it was kind of mild as far as showing the parks. But now let's head inside Magic Kingdom and let's find what remains one location that I'm not going to be able to show today is the location inside Splash Mountain for obvious reasons. Splash Mountain has closed, but there's a scene where Corey and, and Sean wake up and they slept, supposedly slept, inside one of the Splash Mountain logs. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we are visiting Magic Kingdom and Epcot for the happiest show on earth. The episode from season three, episode 21 of Boy Meets World. Let's see how much has changed since the year 1996. Now. Let's take a closer look. Gonna start off with this shot here, right in front of the Emporium. And you can see the flowers in the same spot. And there was a little tram vehicle heading down Main Street, USA. A lot has changed on Main Street. New paint, new, new signage. And there's Henry, who's gonna be hanging out with us today as well. You're back. Hi. You're back with me. We're doing another filming location of uh, an episode that was filmed at Walt Disney World. This one does not feature Hulk Hogan though. No. It features a uh, a certain savage brother. Oh, not know. Fred. Not Fred, the even though he one. was in Boy Meets World. You were a Boy Meets World fan, I know. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I, I said, you were like, what, what, what season was this? Season three? You nailed it. It was season three, episode 21. It's a, it's a gift and a curse. <laughs> I understand that. Hey, the Dapper Dan's are out. So straight ahead is where uh, Corey and Sean were walking right towards the camera and they ran into their old pal Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Now straight ahead there's a tall gentleman walking towards me with the yellow shirt. It's my buddy Dennis. He's going to be hanging out with us as well today. Then there's a shot of them talking to the Beast right here. Now this has all been like changed. The only thing that kind of helps, you know, is the, the stuff in the background. But this all has changed. It used to cut through here. 
and they have changed this whole thing from way back in the day when they had the swan boats. In fact, you know, the whole hub here has changed. They have redone this whole area, but this is where Corey and Sean were standing and talking to the beast right here. And then you can see the castle in the background, Sean talking to the beast. They had a whole interaction with the beast. And I can honestly say, I've been coming to the parks since I was about, I think the first time I came here, I was two. I have never seen the beast from Beauty and the Beast standing right here in front of Tomorrowland. But in the Boy Meets World episode, this is exactly where he was standing. Also wanted to point out that the Tomorrowland sign here, the Tomorrowland sign has changed. Also inserting a uh, behind the scenes photo right here of Beast, Ryder Strong, and Ben Savage in front of the tree and the, uh, the planner they used to have here in the castle. It's wild to me how Corey and Sean really didn't do any attractions here at the Magic Kingdom. This episode is a bizarre one to me because mostly these episodes were for TGIF and it was a way for Disney to promote the parks within their primetime television shows they had, like Boy Meets World, Full House, you know, the, the starring lineup of the 90s. But this one only had two locations, Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and mostly Epcot was backstage. We're gonna finish up here at Magic Kingdom and then we're gonna head over to Epcot where the other location spots are. And right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. They called this episode the happiest show on earth. They should have gone to Disneyland because this is the most magical place on earth. I know, I know, just, just being a stickler. Also, by the way, I was a huge fan of these episodes that they showed on TGIF. Any excuse I got to see the Disney parks on TV, I took full advantage of it. Look at that. So there's a scene where Corey is tracking down Topanga here on the speedway, and Topanga's riding with Ronnie. That kid was always in uh, a lot of 90s stuff. I remember him from Camp Nowhere. But Corey can be seen going through that bridge straight ahead on the other side there, yelling towards Topanga. I'm gonna insert a photo I found from behind the scenes with I believe the director. It's pretty cool. Giving them direction for the episode and what they're gonna do. I wonder if you could like be a bystander and just like stand by and watch the film back in the day here. Imagine the excitement, man. Ben Savage and Ryder Strong. This next shot takes place right here in this section. This is where Corey and Sean are waiting in line to get popcorn. And I had to rack my brain about this location because as you can see in the photograph, there's nothing but a window, but the cast member is wearing the old Tomorrowland outfit. And if it wasn't for a behind the scenes photo that I found, I would have never found this shot because the behind the scenes photo takes place right here. You can see the old Tomorrowland sign. Everyone lined up in the churro and popcorn stand they had set up. They don't have churros or popcorn in this area like that, but they did in the episode. This is probably the hardest spot to find. Everything else is pretty easy. Well, that's a wrap on Magic Kingdom. Trying to head over to Epcot now. Let's go. Now, if we're going in the order of the episode, Corey and uh, Sean found themselves at Epcot right away with their suitcases in hand. They walked in this theme park with suitcases, acting like they just got dropped off by a truck. It's hilarious the kind of situations they put these characters in. Before we match up these spots, I'm gonna go eat lunch at Space 220. And I've never eaten here before. So this is gonna be something new. Figured I'd throw this in the episode, why not, right? All right, we're checked in, trying to head into this place now. They got this whole little area walled off, but there's the entrance to Mission Space. And now we are going here. Look at this, there's a two course lunch or a three course dinner. We're doing the two course lunch. Yeah, this lunch is gonna be out of this world, man. We're about to elevate our dining. We've got our boarding pass. Oh, here we go. Way to go. Oh, we're going to space. Mark 5 Stella Bear, the latest in space elevator Today, you'll have spectacular Wow. You're right. I can see my car. Yeah. Once we dock, 
Gather your belongings and exit through the open air lock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. That's really cool. It's like a mixture of the land and horizons. Holy cow, we went to space, everybody. Speaking of, uh, of Galaxy Quest, when, when yeah. Alan Rickman, he's all mad when they're up in space. They're like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going to go see if there's a pub. This is what this reminds me <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that view. Wow, oh, look at that. There's all kind of like satellites and different space stations and stuff orbiting around us. It's pretty cool. I saw a couple of floating earlier. I was trying to see if I can grab them next time they come around. Got the calamari here to start. Two dipping sauces. Excited to try this. This is the steak and fries. Steak and french fries with a little ketchup. I tried to get it. No. All in all, my experience was fantastic. Hope to come back soon. So the episode begins right here. Corey and Sean walk right towards Spaceship Earth with suitcases in hand because they got dropped off by a truck. Right about here is where Corey was telling Sean, you know how hard it is to find a panga here at Walt Disney World. And then they hopped on this right here, stood and yelled for Topanga, in which Topanga and the rest of her group were driving right here, straight ahead, in a golf cart. What's cool is the spires are back right over here in front of Spaceship Earth, but this whole area really has changed since they redid the, the courtyard and everything, but a few things re remain the same, such as this centerpiece here. But that's where it all took place in the very beginning of the episode. Let's continue. In our next spot, right here on the outskirts of Morocco, technically this wall right here Corey would have been standing right there, ran into Topanga and Ronnie. Someone lost their phone right there. But this is uh, this is where Corey was, was dressed as a local. And there used to be a sign right there. You're going to be seen in the background. This is the cafe. Making our way from Morocco over here to France, where Corey was spying on Ronnie and Topanga and was attempting to paint them to get her attention. So I thought right over here is where they were shooting the uh, the paint scene where Corey's painting them. Actually, it's not. It's why back over here heading back towards Morocco. So they were right here. Ronnie would have been sitting here in Topanga and Corey would have been over here to the left. And you can actually see this behind Topanga in the scene where she gets angry with Corey you know, it's like accusing him of painting them and everything and like bothering her. That all took place right here, which is interesting because I would have thought it took place where they used to have the, the painting thing set up in France. That's not the case for this scene. They really wanted to get that Spaceship Earth shot, which on my phone, Spaceship Earth looks really small, but in the publicity photo of Corey and Topanga sitting here, and then Andrew Keegan, the actor playing Ronnie and Topanga, Spaceship Earth looks different in all of those photos 
compare to this. It depends on which lens you're using. You guys are in the wrong. So you're Corey no, and I you're Topanga. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And in the show, you would have been Ronnie in Topanga yeah. over here. But they, yeah, this is the publicity photo of Corey and Topanga. I think I make a good Topanga. Right here. Definitely. I'm definitely Corey. And then Corey would have been popping his head on the other side of his painting he was doing of Topanga and Ronnie looking back right over here. In this next spot, utilize the uh, the monorail beam right here in front of Spaceship Earth. There's a lot of scenes here at the Living Seas, which is now the seas with Nemo and friends. But back in the day, this is what it looked like. You can see in the photograph that a lot of banter happened over here. Topanga would have been walking around this way towards Cory. Cory would have been walking around this way and they had an altercation here and discussed everything. It's also when uh, that girl that Corey asked earlier, I forget her name, the character, Hillary Tuck, it was Kristen who was the girl that showed up. But right here is where Corey and Topanga had their big tiff. Corey was in a wetsuit because like I said earlier, they pretty much filmed 90, I'd say a good chunk of the Disney footage backstage. Now here's a bit of trivia for you. There was a guest star in the backstage scenes in the Living Seas. And she was from a TV show called Step by Step. Can you name the actress who was a, a guest star on this episode and or her character's name in Step by Step? Now the reason Corey was in the wetsuit is because he was diving here at the Coral Reef restaurant. We're gonna try and get in. All right, they said it could go as far as the steps. So here we go. So this is where Topanga and Ronnie were having dinner and Corey snorkel scuba dived up to them and had a sign that says I will chase you forever and it happened right over there one of these windows probably this one where they shot it that's where Corey swam up scuba diving and had the sign hopefully the the contest that Topanga won was paying for that meal because I don't know if Topanga and Ronnie could afford a nice dinner date at Epcot, the Coral Reef. Wow. And this is where the episode ends, right here in front of the front of the old fountain. You see Corey and Topanga talking, and then they end uh, the episode with a, a makeup kiss. Corey and Topanga are back together. All is right in the world. And this is where the episode ended, right here. This area has changed probably the most out of all the spots we showed today. But that's it. Boy Meets World, the happiest show on earth episode. And there you have it, the filming locations of Boy Meets World, season three, episode 21, 1996. We did it. I'm gonna continue doing this off and on until I complete all of the Disney episodes from TGIF. So that's something to look forward to here on the channel. I'm not gonna do them all at once. I'm gonna kind of space them out, but I'm excited about this series and I'm eager to uh, complete it for those of you who are fans of TGIF. If you wanna watch this episode, it's on Disney Plus. Check it out, season three, episode 21, 1996, the happiest show on earth. I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird, goodbye.